Wow. Here's the second most subtle, beautiful, gorgeous cosmological download. Uh, let me walk you through this. Uh, the outer sphere is the sphere of your spirit. It's, it's really like the sun, archetype sun, but the rays of the sun are raying inward. Uh, and these are concentric spheres, not two-dimensional cutaways. These are spheres, nested spheres, one sphere within another, within another, within another. Five of them. The outer one, your spirit. And, you know, I want you to talk to yourself while you visualize this. I, Jonathan, uh, have the sphere of my spirit uh, containing the worlds within me, wombing within me. Yeah, riff about it. It will help. Uh, the next sphere that you come into, more interior, is the sphere of your mind, um, characterized by zillions of microsynaptic flashings, and the mind is reflecting inward also. And what the mind comes to is the sphere of the body, the most difficult to express and even visualize, comprehend, it's like if your body was turned outside in, flayed is the word that comes to mind, at the same time blown up into a gigantic size such that you contain the earth within the sphere of your individual biological body. Wow. Body also, uh, you know, facing inwards uh, and in touch with the earth. Well, here comes the first map now, the earth. You've had a good look at that, the mountain peaks facing inward. And along the now inside of the earth is a biosphere of life we call mankind, animal kind, plants, weather, <laughs> climate. The mountain peaks facing inward. Keep going. Uh, you go through, oh, there's the moon, the stars, and, uh, you know, there goes Jupiter in the rearview mirror. You keep spaceshipping uh, further inward until you realize that the traditionally called ends of the universe converge. They come together in a magical uh, vanishing point. Which is where? In the center of your individual spirit. Wow. Unbelievable. You contain the whole universe within your spirit. <laughs> wow. yeah. uh, and the rays, yeah, they go through and they come out the other side. <laughs> kind of shimmering until they form exactly again uh, everything, uh, what it was like uh, just before it vanished. Uh, simultaneous being, non-being. <laughs> so uh, uh, this is in. This, this, if I can find my finger, this toward the sky. That's in. That's the key. All these uh, five spheres are within your spirit. So let's use this and uh, see, see, see where it can take us. The sphere of your spirit containing and warming the spirit of your mind, your ref mind reflect reflecting inward towards your body, your body, gigantic, colossal body, swallowing the earth. You, you've swallowed the earth. Unbelievable. Uh, you know, and you quit the solar system and, wow, the ends of the universe come together because all the energy is headed toward the center of your spirit. How was that, God said? That's about the best I can do. <laughs> okay, so... Good luck with these. Of course, if you had the book, you could be looking right at it and come back to it, lie it down, come back to it, meditate a little more and come back to it. So I encourage you to get the book. And one other thing I noticed, and it's in this drawing, there's a little symbol R. 
R means relationship between the sphere next to it. And I notice that the spheres are, are an admixture of the sphere, sphere on either side of it. For instance, the body relating uh, is uh, a mixture of the earth and mind. Uh, the mind is an admixture of the body and the spirit. Um, yeah. Oh, mana padme hona, mana padme hona, mana padme hona. Hopefully this helps you. May all beings.